Hey guys, what's up? It's Andy. You want me to show you how to sell this pen to anybody? How about I show you to sell anything to every person you run into for the rest of your life? In this video, I'm going to show you to sell anything to anybody, anytime, anyplace, anywhere, in person, or on the phone. This video is going to change everything for you. Okay guys, here we go. Get your pen, get your piece of paper together. I'm gonna give you three powerful tips that will change everything for you. Let's start with number one. Number one is gonna be emotion. People buy from emotion. The most thing that sales people get wrong is they think the person with the best product knowledge is going to win. Look, you see this pen? You could know everything about this pen, the mechanicals of it, how much it costs, how many there are, what it does, how great it feels when you're right with it. But if you don't know people and you don't know how to sell emotion, nothing's going to happen. Do you guys know what the definition of persuasion is? It's called transfer of emotion. Three words, write it down. Transfer of emotion. It's your job to take the way that you feel and push it into the customer. Do you know the way that I'm talking to you right now? You know how passionate I am to see you become one of the best salespeople in the world? Look, I'm ate up with it. I don't just logically want you to be great. I am passionate and emotional about you becoming great. So what happens is since I feel that way, You'll feel that way by the end of this video that you could go do things that previously you thought you couldn't do. Now look, people make decisions one or two ways when spending money. One is logically, logically, right? Like everything has to make sense or line up, right? They had a conversation at the kitchen table. This is kind of what they thought their next purchase would look like. That's a logical deal. Emotion is what makes people do what doesn't logically make sense because in their gut they're like, let's do it anyways which is what salespeople want. They want people to get emotional so that they want to spend their money right now. If people are making decisions logically and there's no emotion involved, guess what? They don't need a salesperson. A salesperson gives people reasons and excuses why they should do it and why they should do it right now. So the, the number one rule that a salesperson should have if you want to be the very best, not average, not even great. I'm talking in an icon. You want to be a legend in the sales industry? Learn how to sell with emotion and then back it up with logic. That's the way. So what I'll do is that number one, I am excited. I am alive and I am passionate about whether I'm selling this pen or selling anything else in this world. And you can tell by looking at me and by talking to me that I believe in it with all my heart and I sell from the heart out, not the outside in. And as we're speaking right now, and you're, and you're looking at me, you're like, man, you know what? This guy does believe. Now what I want you to know is that when I'm selling something, I'm passionate about the people that I have in front of me. The product that I have for sale, when they see, people don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. I show them the emotion. I show them the passion. I show them the love that I have. Look, if it's a car dealership, I don't say, welcome to the car dealership. I say, welcome to my home. Come on, man. Let them know you're the trusted guy. Let them know you're the expert. Let them know how passionate you feel about who you are and then back it up with logic. So listen to me. When I say this to you, if you want to be the very best, you sell with the emotion and then you back it up with logic when there's emotion involved. If there's no emotion involved, people are going to just make logically decisions and more than likely they will always shop you until they run across someone like me who's emotional. And then I'll take that emotion and I'll push it into you. And by the way, when I say I'm emotional, what I do is that I make people feel the feelings the way that I feel, okay? I don't care if you're in a bad mood, a good mood, you're having a good day, bad day, you got a headache, you're tired. When you're around me, I'm gonna motivate you. I'm gonna make you excited. I'm gonna make you come alive. I'm not gonna be like most salespeople walking around like a coffin dead. I'm gonna bring the energy, I'm gonna bring the fire, I'm gonna bring excitement. And you're gonna feel that, I promise you. In the beginning, you may say, Andy, that's just a little bit too strong. Look, you're not a second rated version of me. You're a first rated version of yourself. When I say sell with emotion, what I'm saying is unlock yourself. Come out of your box. You don't have to be me, but you need to be a version of you, okay? Don't go to the grave and be like, gosh, man, I, paid, I played the second version of myself. There was another one that I didn't play. I want that person. That person has to understand how to persuade, how to sell, is by the transfer of emotion. And if you don't have the emotion in you, you ain't transferring nothing. So your customer, they're gonna be dead and they're gonna go shop and buy from someone else and you're gonna miss the sale. Why? Because you're not selling with emotion.
All right, guys, here we go. This is real simple. You wanna sell the pen? You wanna sell whatever you have to every single person? A car, a house, anybody. Move people from pain to pleasure. That's it, that's it. It's so simple and I don't think that people think about that. Look, what is it like buying from somebody who doesn't care? It's painful, it's painful. You know what it's like buying from somebody that just wants to make a lot of money? It's painful. What is it like when you buy from somebody and somebody's serving you at the highest level and they're giving you world-class customer service? You know what I mean? You remember the last time you had somebody treat you that way? How'd you feel? You thought, my God, man, this is amazing. Because there was pleasure and they moved you away from the pain of what they feel with most, most salespeople, it moved you to do what? Make a decision right there and never forget them. So I worked in the car business for 23 years, okay? I made 716 grand my last year selling cars and I used to say this to every person. I say, hey, where, where'd you buy your last car from? They'd say, well, I bought it at ABC Toyota. I say, cool, who'd you buy your last car from? They say, well, I, I don't know. I don't know his name, but I know where I bought it. You see, will you make an impact where somebody will remember you for the rest of your life? If you will, number one, you'll sell them with emotion, which is step one, and number two, what will you do? You'll have no pain during your selling. You know what you'll do? You'll figure out what is their problem? Why are they in the market? What is their dominant buying motive? Like literally, like how did we end up here even having this conversation, right? I don't care if you're at the top of the funnel and you just started thinking about buying something or if you're at the very bottom of the funnel and you're ready to give me a check right now. It doesn't matter where you're at. The idea of it is, is that what got you in the funnel? Or there's a little scratch, right? You got a little itch? It's my job to scratch it. Well, how do I do that? I find your pain. And once I find the pain, I move you away from it into pleasure. And that is how selling is done. All right guys, number three, this is a game changer. Man, is this a quick video or what? I set this up for you guys so you would know how to sell anything to anybody, anytime, any place. Facts tell, stories sell. Never forget that, okay? I remember all I wanted to do was be one of the best salespeople in the world. Not the best in my store, not the best in my state, not the best in my country, the best in the world. And what I understood is I studied. Look, this world's your library. If you know what you're looking for, it'll give you what you're looking for. I wanted to be the best and I wanted to be different. I didn't want to be like everybody else. Look, if you look like your competition, if you sound like your competition, people will treat you like your competition. How could I be different? How could I stand out? How could I really earn in that top 1%? And I did it. And I'm doing it now, how, how did it happen? Well, everybody sells from facts. They think because they've got the facts that that's gonna be enough. It isn't. People love stories. Stories sell. Let me explain this to you. I can give you all of the facts about something, okay? You'll consume the information and you'll leave. What was step one I told you when we started a minute ago? It was emotion, okay? Do you know what people get as I paint a picture telling a story about something? And then I make some points about the facts that I know as I'm telling the story. Do you know what they do? They become emotionally tied in the story. Have you noticed, have you ever watched a movie and then as you're watching it, right? No matter what's going on in the movie screen, you can feel somebody tugging on the strings of your heart, right? You can feel things happening and you're being moved. Look, when's the last time that you've been sold and as you're being sold, somebody's painting a picture, whether it's about what their product did from someone else or what it could do for you, but they're not just telling you that this is the facts. Look, this is a black pen. It's gonna have lots of ink. You can use it for three years. It clicks like this. It's got a little rubber deal here. You can hold on to it. No, it's like, hey, listen, let me tell you this. Miss Johnson, she used to write papers every day. She was a school teacher. She was phenomenal, one of the best teachers I knew. She was amazing. God bless her heart, she was writing all the time. But you know what happened? She'd always get hand cramped. So what happened is that she decided, what if there was a pen out there that would allow me to write longer? Well, guess what happened? I ran into her. I let her try this pen that I'm holding in my hand. Well, guess what happened? She never had hand cramp again. It never happened. She loves writing, and until this day, you know what her favorite thing is? It's writing, where it used to not be writing. Why? Because the pain in her hand while she was writing hurt. But guess what? Now it's a joy, and she loves writing. What did I do? I just took them from pain, and I took it to pleasure. I didn't say, this is what it'll do for you. I said, that's what it did for someone else. Did you notice how I painted a picture, right? Listen to me, stories sell. Look, if you're a skeptic right now and you're looking at me and you're like, man, you know what? I don't know. You're a skeptic on yourself. 
You're stuck in your own ways and your glass is full. Dump it out. Dump out your glass. Let me explain this to you. You wanna be one of the best salespeople in the world? Go ahead, give everybody all the facts they need. You've given them just enough information to go shop you down the road. They can buy from anybody with facts, facts or everybody. I can go to the internet and get all the facts I want. Let me explain to you what the internet can't do. It can't make that steak sizzle. You know what can? You. How are you gonna do it? With emotion. You're gonna sell with emotion and you're gonna make it, you're gonna transfer that into them. You're gonna make them feel how you feel about the product you have and about how you feel about them. People don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. So you know all the facts, that's cool. They need to know how much you care about them. And guess what, if they know how much you care and they feel the emotion and they feel the passion, they feel the same way you feel, guess what? Now we can back it up by facts and sell by logic after we have the emotion. We're gonna move them from pain to pleasure. We could do that in story selling, but we won't do it with just facts. Guess what? At the end, every single sale you make, giant commissions are paid by doing what? Selling in a story backing it up by facts that are points in that story, but by telling stories. If you wanna become one of the best salespeople in the world, tell a story. You wanna become great at selling? Tell a story every single time. Don't you dare be one of those people out there just giving facts to people. You'll stay broke, you'll stay at the same, you'll never scale and you'll never increase. Guys, watch this whole video a hundred times. Take lots of notes. I could sell anybody this pen. I could sell it to anybody, anytime, anyplace. I could sell it on the phone and in person by using these three steps. And guess what? You're not a second rated version of me. You're a first rated version of yourself. I do speak fast because I didn't want to make this a 30 minute video. I hope this helped you. Love you guys. Crush it. Kill it. Become the world's best.